Mic check one, 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 one. Mic check one, 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 one. My mic sounds nice. Check done. What up, everybody? How's it going? How's it going, man? We missed a week, but I'm here as one of your hosts, Stan Banks from T Shirt Side Hustle. I'm here with my co host, superstar Gregory Bozeman. From the art department. What up, everybody? What's going on? What's going on, man? Before we get started, man, I think I just want everybody to open your arms right now and wrap them around Greg and give him a great big hug, man. He just need a big hug. How you feeling, G? Man, I feel, I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good, man. Listen, you anything know, we talk good. about on the phone, anything we talk about right here is fair game. Most stuff. Most stuff. <laughs> so, y'all, I said that to say, G need a hug, man. We got an interesting topic for tonight. But, Frodo, how you doing, man? Man, I'm doing great, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm hanging in there, bro. You know. Ain't we all. Just hanging all. in there. Yo, I was listening to something, and I had saw it before, but something else referenced it today, where Mike Epps was like, yo, you could throw your problems on the floor, and you could pick up somebody else's problems. You'll want to right. pick, you'll be looking around like, wait, where are my problems at? You know what I'm saying? Right. And I think the topic for the day is one of those situations for real. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those situations where it's like, darn, no matter what could be going on with me or you, somebody always got it a little bit worse, if not way worse than where we are in certain situations. So you gotta, you just gotta acknowledge and, uh, and think about those things. But what's new, man? What's so we missed a week, so we got a lot to catch up on here before we can roll into hey, this. Most definitely, happened. man. Most definitely. What's I, happened I, me last, personally, huh? What's happened over the last two weeks? Man, last two weeks, man. I'm so excited, man. I've been going to the, the flea markets and galleries and stuff, man, getting out of my comfort zone. And bruh, I love it, man. I love the way people are receiving the brand, you know what I'm saying, and just communicating, networking, and everything, man. So, you know. Just getting out, man, and and you know I, I think it's way better than actually being on social media, man, because you able to talk, you know, what I'm saying to the people, explain your brand, man, and they can see it, man. And that's why I told my story. A lot of people brought it, uh, brought a T-shirt or whatever just from talking to me, you know, me explaining, you know what I'm saying why I'm doing this and why, you know, I'm out here and stuff like that. Why I created a brand and stuff, and and man, I, I I made a lot just doing that and meeting a lot of people, so. You know, that was very exciting. That was the first time. That was a great experience for me. It wasn't no pop-up. But you know how we feel about certain flea markets. And the flea market I go to is like a, a craft flea market. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not just a regular flea flea market, man. And I really enjoyed that. And I, I got some photos and stuff. I, did. I took my drone out, you know, did a whole lot. I'm editing it now. No, I'm going to show y'all, you know what I'm saying? So be, be prepared for that. Yeah, man. I know you're going to put some content around. I like I like that for you, man. I like that for you. I told you, you ain't been, I told you, you ain't been working, man. I think you got. To the, I think you got. You got into the building, and you kind of just do what most of us do: is we sit in our box and then we ex wait for stuff to come to us. So this gives you a chance to get out, I and agree. I think it also is going to give you a chance to stand on the brand the way that you kind of wanted to. You know what I mean? Uh, most and I, I think that's super important. Before we go a little further, we got Four Corners Custom Products with a super chat. Thank you very much. Uh, he says he just said thanks. You know what I mean? If you guys got any questions that you guys want specifically answer, you drop a super chat. We won't guarantee that we won't miss it. Uh, we got a, we got an interesting topic again um, coming up here in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, man, what else is we going? Anything else outside of the the, the two pop up shops? Yeah, um, I've been you know going to the galleries also, man. I have just been networking, man. Just meeting the people, man, and you know. I put some shirts inside the gallery. They wanted some shirts of mine. I've been going hand to hand, you know what I'm saying? Uh, with people, just meeting people, explaining my brand, you know, and they was just buying them, you know, on the street. Have so, you, have you been collecting data? I, yes. I asked them, you know what I'm saying? It's okay to get the email, you know what I'm saying? Put the email down when I dropped the new color. And they was, they was with it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I have a piece of paper. And then write down the emails. I told you, I'm saying, I tell them that, hey, this is what it's for and everything. So, yes, I have. Well, I want you, you got to get them into the website. Because I, oh, yeah, I, think, I think that's the next piece for you um, is you start to build that list, 
get it out of paper into the thing and just start sending a little, you know what I mean, little emails and just start because you got to do something called warm up your email address anyway. Whereas like you got to get a certain amount of open rate. So the people that you are, it's good to collect emails, but you still want to send them something. You don't got to have the overall strategy planned out where you got a 10 welcome email series and all of that kind of stuff. But you do want to shoot something out. And for you, it could be like, hey, I'm going to be at the gallery uh, the, or, or the, the market this week. You can send a picture. Of you. I got a new. I got something new for you guys. And you can just start doing that on a weekly basis and slowly get yourself into a groove um, and get people used to hearing from you. You know what I mean? Right. Most definitely. Most definitely. I like that. Most definitely, man. What up, Ride Beach in the building? Hey, let us know where y'all watching from. Y'all know what we do. When we check. Y'all got to check in with us. Like, we checking in with you. What's up? What's up? You got to check in with us like we checking in from y'all. We got my guy Rai in the building. Got a few people in here. So, I don't know, man. Before we go any further, we've been out, get, getting a little bit out of rhythm. We're going to be talking about DTF not being safe, DTF being toxic. We're going to talk about my buddy, my friend, person that I talk to on a regular basis. This ain't just me covering a topic, guys. This ain't me just watching a video that he put out and, and putting a reaction to it or anything like that. Honestly, he don't even like it. He, he mad at some of y'all for ripping his content, to keep it real. I don't know if he's going to join us. I told I talked to him earlier. It would be great if he could join us. And I told him if he joined, if he joined we're going to grow. So we're going to put all that stuff in the building. But as you guys check in, we got Rod from the Bay Area, Bay Area Cynthia from Atlanta. Y'all know what time it is. You are watching... The Art of Hustle podcast on TSH Network. Yeah. Art of Hustle, Art of Hustle. Yeah. You know we get it off the muscle. Get it. You know we grind, grind, grind. Cause this our time. Art of Hustle, Art of Hustle. 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 Yeah. You know we get it off the muscle. You know we grind, grind, grind. Cause this our time. Art of Hustle, Art of Hustle. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? Welcome back. Welcome back, man. This is Art of Hustle Podcast, episode number 10. We missed the week. Number 10, baby. We are back here today to talk to you guys about something that's hitting the internet crazy, right? And we warmed it up beforehand, um, and it was kind of something that was strategically done at that time. Uh, wasn't sure if he wanted to come out in front of it because he got a lot at stake here, uh, and there's a ton of comments on his videos, a ton of comments on my videos, a ton of other people creating content around the subject, the topic. Um, I went crazy in the live. I was a little over. Like I went a little bit above, you know what I'm saying? Because um, I think the issue has to be pressed, right? In order to get a response or to get something to happen, you got to be almost a radical about it, right? A lot of people got a lot of money riding on this stuff. You know what I mean? A lot of people have a lot riding on it. Like this is this pivot to DTF has been as crazy as the pandemic pivot in the entire, like for us, this is our pandemic pivot, right? DTF print method, uh, you know, look, we just was having talks about, is it taking over the industry, right? There was always talks about it not being safe, but what we've come to find out is worse than what we may have expected. Yes, I, I, I believe that too, man, because, um, it's hand the stories and stuff. The first time we talked about it, man, that was the, that was us, man, coming from C, CNN. You know what I'm saying? T-shirt side hustle, man. Hey, we just dropped it first, man. But you know, a lot of people starting to talk about it and saying, I'm saying, what's what's really going on, man. So we we want to come back and talk about it, man, because a lot of people, man, are not aware of what's going on. And I'm glad that we got this podcast, man, to make it aware, man, because. Like you said, man, this is a, a, a almost a billion dollar, I'm saying, machine, man, industry. That's what I'm saying. That's helped us, man, make great product. But it also come with a, it also came with a cost. And now we got to approach this. We got to make it, I'm saying, aware to these people that, hey, what's going on? This is affecting our body, man. It's because if it's affecting us, man, you know, it's affecting your household, affecting everybody around you. And also it's going to affect the money also that we, you know, saying, far as money wise. So. We must address this, man, to get it right, man, because our health becomes before our wealth, man. In, 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 in the sense of getting it right, um, and I got a few, I'm going to reference a few points um, that me and Brother Ernest talked about 
But I want to give uh, – again, so let me let me back that up. For Brother Ernest, um, this is – it's almost his 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 dying will, right? Um, and all he wants to do is to let people know like that this could happen to them, right? Uh, he he wants people to understand that they should not be using this print method inside of their home, around their right. kids, um, and he ultimately wants companies to stop selling it to people that are in their homes. Which, uh, like, not trying to dictate or anything like that, but in the sense of, like, going in the right direction, want to give a huge shout out. And this is from Brother Ernest. Uh, he's like, yo, this is all I This is kind of like all I want. It's all I can get out of it is uh, Uninet has put, uh, Joe uh, over at Uninet has put, um, he said, basically reach out to him, say, yo, I, we saw your video. And we've now, in our powder section, we've now added a disclaimer, like, not recommended for in-home use. So, shout out to Uninet for, I, I don't even know if they're the first, but this is the first, they reached out to him and they made this first step. I think more has to be done, but we can't expect it to, like, change overnight, right? Um, and, and brother got some concerns, but I wanted to, I wanted to start this off with that there uh, and say shout out to Uninet uh, for taking that step. Uh, brother appreciates it. I appreciate it. Um, I think the, the industry is going to appreciate it one way or another. Um, and you know, it takes a lot, right? I think more has to be done. We think more has to be done. Brother definitely thinks more has to be done. Um, but again, um, I think steps, baby steps, you know what I'm saying? Baby steps, right? right. Man, there's a, totally. there's a lot going on to, to, to this, right? Um, today brother went for a, um, he went for another procedure. He found out that he has powder in his lungs. This was like his, what he says, his second confirmation. And he's like, man, we just getting it all up in our respiratory systems. Um, and you got to think, and I've talked to a, a few different DTF owners um, over the past few days, ones that I've talked to on a regular basis, one that I kind of invested with a little bit into as well. Um, and it's a lot, right? Like, it is a lot. Um, a lot of people are concerned now. Um, I got a message today saying some companies put the put the machines on like a, a crazy discount during their overnight. Like a lot's been going on, um, and we got a lot to discuss. We got your questions here. It's pressing or putting in the powder. We got a lot to discuss about that. There's still a lot of unknowns. This is going to be something that we continue to talk about and continue to follow. And a lot of research needs to be done. You know what I'm saying? And that research right. is going to have to come from, uh, I guess. Can't hear you. There you go. Nah. Check, check, check. There you go. Uh, my bad. There you go. Um, yeah, this this needs to be addressed by the companies, right? Overall, um, and brother has some of the same concerns that I always had about, like when you deal with companies and like getting them to move or do different things like that. Um, but it has to be addressed by the companies, and I think overall, I think it should be an industry wide, like the major players in this space, industry wide should, um pitch in right and i think it can be done nicely uh through a company right. uh like dtfprinting.com maybe possibly or inside of a company by itself but i think there's a lot that is, like i said a lot needs to be done uh but that was that's the latest update he's waiting for one more phase um of testing and is ultimately like he's a due for surgery in his words, he's, he's due for surgery any day now, but definitely on the 12th, he's like, I'm on a waiting list for if anybody cancels ahead of me or anybody dies ahead of me, and like between now and the 12th. So he go, he's waiting for a surgery right now um, overall. So that's a little bit of information um, about what's been going on with brother. How you feel about that, G? What you think? Man, I, I, I feel, I, I agree with what um, 
Unionet did, man, it should be a disclaimer on this powder. And I don't think it should, I don't think anybody getting a DTL should, you know what I'm saying, put it in their home. It, it shouldn't be allowed in their home, period, man. I don't think it should be in a closed space. You know, I think it, it got to have some type of, you know what I'm saying, outlets to it, man, if you're going to be dealing with one. Because um, I know a lot of, you know what I'm saying, we had the desktop ones, you know, and these little small ones, a lot of us doing, man. But if it's creating some type of chemical or anything, it's, you just got to take precaution with it now, you know. And I think they should do more research on these chemicals, man. Um, I think they should have did research on the chemicals before they even got it out there, if I'll be honest. But I think they should do more about it, man. Like you said, there's a disclaimer all over, man. Because if it's affecting us and we we love making T-shirts and we want to make, this is our career, this is our money maker, then we need them to step up and do more research on this, man, the way that we can prohibit us, you know what I'm saying, for getting sick off of it. If they want to continue to sell, sell to us, then I think we should, you know what I'm saying, put the press on them, man. Hey, man, we need more research. We need more knowledge about this. You know, we're not going to buy this no more until we have much knowledge on it. You know, you know, I I, I think that should be it, man, that we got to take the stand against the community. Got to take the stand against this one, man, because it's it's affecting us, not them, you know. So I'm going I'm going to hit you with two things. One, I'm going to hit you with the information that you got around DTF where, you know, it said, hey, got to be properly ventilated or exhausted. And they give you this little 12 inch box. I've been like emphasizing that, but I want to make this more serious. A lot of people confused about like how I do my YouTube lives and all of that stuff where I'm making jokes right. and I'm cussing people out. I'm smiling. I'm laughing. I'm, I'm speaking to hypotheticals. Uh, but it's basically is like, hey, you got to be in a controlled humidity environment. Right. You got to be kind of closed in to control that humidity in an environment. But at the same time, you need to exhaust and do all of this other stuff. And one of the things that I want people to understand is like, hey. It's not always just about I'm running my DTF printer. I wear a mask or I wear a respirator or whatever I wear. But your DTF machine is in a room that you still heat press in. That you still it's in the air. And people yeah. running DTF at scale, they understand that. Like I was talking to my guy from round round away, and he's like, "Yo, that stuff is like all of my comp is like dust all of my computer. My computer fans and all of that stuff." And that is precisely what Brother Ernest is saying is that you're inhaling. So even if you print, you wear your ras respirator and your mask and all of that kind, all of that stuff, and then you cut it off, you think, hey, maybe you give it 10, 15 minutes, open window, whatever the case is. The point is that it's in the air at that point. Right. You right. don't even see it. It's bothering you. A lot of people experience headaches. Here's the thing. Brother Ernest today, and I'm... Totally different conversation. Brother Ernest today said, he said, yo, one thing I can tell you is I don't get them headaches no more. And he's, I'm like, well, I guess that's a good thing in the midst of all of the bad, right? Like that positive outlook. Like, like you like, you'll get the headaches, bro. You're dying. But he's like, yo, I don't get those headaches anymore. I talked to my other guys like, yo, when the printer was down, um, he said, I stopped getting them headaches and I was getting headaches. And then when I, you know, it's like this cycle of things that, again, we look at like, as I get a headache, I'm just going to go home and maybe I'll take some. I just started taking stuff. I just went home, went to sleep, woke back up, right? right. We not, we're not going to always process that as it was me printing DTF or whatever the case is. Uh, and I, it goes back to the T-shirt crusader who was one of the first people that I seen say, yo, I had to stop printing because it was giving me headaches. And he got rid of it. And he was one of the early people in that process that I seen. And it also, again, takes me back to my first video pressing where you got those fumes. I think that's where a lot of question is. It now is like, okay, brother, you it's, it's something in the powder, but how much further does it go, right? We don't know. Is it not safe pressing it? Because we can sometimes, depending on what you're doing, you can smell the fumes when you press it. Is that not safe for you? Um, people now mm. are saying, is sublimation not safe for you? Right. What did you say? No, I wanted to say the same thing you were saying. That's why I was gonna come across, man. Like, like how we, how some of us, we create the screen print. Um, um. So you know, brother, about, brother brought that, that up too. Yeah. I asked, I asked brother that. I did ask him that. And I, at the end of the day, I think we have to believe it's all safe. I mean, all not safe. Right. It's, right. it's like that powder 
in one way, shape or form can't be safe for you. Right. It's the same thing with like the, with the web spray. And this is where like print grip comes in to change some of that stuff. The spray that you sprayed adhesive on for you screen print. Like that stuff cakes up on your on your machine. You don't think it's getting into your your, your, your nasal passage and it's uh-huh. in the air and different things like that. And so one thing that the way that I kind of look at it from that standpoint is it's like, yo. I mean, I've been so amazed since I definitely since I've been on YouTube. Right. right. Or um, I've been I've been screen printing for since 2009. Uh-huh. We only been dealing with DTF for three years. <laughs> so it's like the same like DTF benefited off of DTG about how fast it like sped up because it's using some of that stuff. And like but DT, DTG, it took a very, very long time for it to get to a point where people could just use it. Right, like it was like years upon years of perfecting that. Right, it's the same thing in this case, but it's flipped to the negative. Right, like in this short amount of time. Now, brother is like one of the pioneers to this. He bought it in, one of the first people to print it uh, before a lot of big names took it on, and then took it to another level and different things like that. But that was in twenty twenty. So in a case, in in a series of three years. It has created cancer in a person. Uh-huh. And the thing about when it comes to talking about like, hey, what about screen print transfers? What about this? What about that? Is nine times out of 10, not to say that people aren't sh- shaking them by hand, but everybody across America ain't in their house creating screen printer transfers. Right. Everybody across America now in this industry is looking at these desktop DTF yeah, options, yeah. in-home DTF options. Why? Uh, because uh, it is a huge money maker. One of the things that he stressed, he's like, bro, nobody's going to listen. It's so much money. You can make $3,000 a month. You know, like right. in your crib with this machine, he's like, yo, it's almost like nobody's going to listen to me because of the money on the other side. G, like, he's been in a DTF room all day today. What's up, G? You got to <laughs> Man, I'm, trying, I'm trying my allergies, man. Allergies, Jeez. man. <laughs> so, I think you know, and, and one of the other things he's like, yo, people, it's people got a lot riding on it. It's people like negative, and I, I, I talked about this. A couple of people messaged me, and it's like, yo, I feel almost obligated to push the issue. He's like, stand, like. It's so much money to be like it's he basically just keeps saying it's like yo, it's so much money in this for the person printing it, for the company selling it, that bro, they're gonna mur they gonna he like bro, they gonna I'm I'm worried for you. I'm like, bro, I can handle it. I done already been in the midst of the fire and it like you know, like people are, are saying like yo, what's his angle on it and all of that kind of stuff, like insensitive. Uh and I, I talked to him about like not being the right messenger. Like one of the things that I'm very aware of and I had become very, very aware of is, you know, and you guys seen the change when I started to be in front of more companies and different things like that. While I didn't change fully, I definitely tweaked how I was and what I was, how I was maneuvering a little bit, right? The language and all that kind of stuff. But some people in this industry can't separate brother Ernest uh, and we can keep it all the way from because he don't care having multiple wives uh, based on his lifestyle or not agreeing with some political status and all that stuff. And, you know, the the world and the we're so divisive right now on the Internet amongst any given topic. Right. Uh, that he may not be the right messenger by himself. Right. And believe me when I tell you, he's not the only one who's experienced different things or similar things. Um the headaches that's like a across the board type deal you know what i'm saying um uh, my guy out of dc that i talked to running dc printers and i think the overall underlying message that brother wants people to understand is like yo and he calls them cricket mamas he's like yo these things should not be sold to this crick these cricket mamas and that's where it went from the high super high level to the conversion now they have l1800 versions or desktop model versions for your home uh, and that's like the first step is like what do we do now 
to stop these cricket mamas who's been miseducated across TikTok and short videos and all of that kind of stuff um, to get it out of their homes. You know what I'm saying? Like to, to stop them from using it, to stop it from being around kids. Like I, he feels like those are the very, very first steps to uh, what's been going, like what he would like to see be a little bit different. Yeah, to eliminate the problem, man, because if, if they put it in their households, then it's affecting everybody in the household. You know, I think uh -oh. I think it's mixed. Hello? All right, y'all. We got a guest here coming in. Okay. We got a guest here rolling in, y'all. We're going to pop him up, camera three. Let me go find my other views. I got a three-person view. Hold on one second, G. You can keep talking, G. Yeah, but um, it's just a, the whole thing is this miseducation, man. You know what I'm saying? So we just gotta, man, go back, step back, man, and re-educate the man about what's going on right now. Cause if 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 we keep on doing the same thing, it's gonna be a lot of people affected, man. Households gonna be affected. Everybody gonna be affected by it. So we gotta re-educate this, man. All right, guys, we have. The infamous, and something is up right now. Hold on, let me. I gotta fix this real quick. I don't know why. Before we can bring him in, but my guy is in the building with us right now. Um, why is this camera C? Let me close that. Uh, let me see. There we go. My bad, y'all. I got it set up, but sometimes this thing don't be working right all the way. All right, we ready to bring my guy on right now. What's up, brother? What's going on, everybody? There's a little delay, um, <clears throat> or I don't, I don't know it's if going, that's it's my video speed. Let me just make sure my Wi-Fi is on. So if you're um, watching it, too is going to be a delay to the people but you look real clear to us but center yourself right, up cool, cool. center yourself up just a little bit oh uh, yeah okay all right well right there that's the good phone. there you go that's, there you I go i gotta put a cannabis jar in front of it <laughs> it's been a long it's been a long week man I, i'm telling you i can uh, only imagine man i can only imagine bro I, first and foremost at least myself uh, and the people over our channel, man. Um, for those that pray, uh, are praying for you. For those that don't, wish you well and the family. Um, a lot of people ask me like, "How you doing?" and and what are my thoughts on on it and all of that. The first thing that I can say is, you know, you know, being a person that's been out there and met your family, uh, and hung out and all of that kind of stuff. Like we feel for you and the family. Um, yeah, most thanks. importantly, man. Um. It's a world of news on my end. And, you know, on your channel, people have been so kind and uh, so nice. And I, I know that, you know, in the DTF groups, I'm kind of getting slaughtered. And, and I can't I can't communicate in the DTF groups because I'm blocked. I mean, I, I, I go on yeah. there, right? I, I, I'm like, even in my mind... I'm thinking, Stan, you're going to have to pay me $250 not to say the P word, which, you know, <laughs> so I, I'm doing my best, right, in light of all things on that. However, um, the, the other side that I want to talk about is I have no intention, um, no motivation to do this. I have no intention to get anything out of this. Right. 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 Because what is it profit if I gain the world for a short time and I'm about to lose my soul on earth? Um, and at, at this point, I'm trying to build a lot of bridges in the short time that I have and not worry about, you know, trying to piss people off. And um, it is not 1000 percent or 100 percent conclusive on. Um, where my cancer comes from, 
and no doctor out there can tell me exactly how I got my cancer, but they can point all of these um, points to it. Right. You know, Ernest, there's powder in your nasal system. There's powder in your lungs. You know, uh, dude, that's common sense, right? And at no point am I saying anywhere that the DTF industry wants to kill people. I didn't want, I, I know for a fact that two or three people that I sold printers to in small houses, you know, maybe shouldn't have had them, but that's because my supplier told us, oh no, it's very safe. It's very safe. You know, the, uh, this has been certified and, um, and it may be, but you, you know, if you've ever printed transfers, you know, it's pretty damn simple to knock out 50 or 60 transfers at once, you know, and in right. one setting and, and just, I, I think that the, um, the average household user or apartment user, I believe was never the type of printer that we were trying to get involved in DPF. You know, I mean, it, it just, um, because they don't use enough volume to make the ink sellers happy, the powder sellers happy, you know, they're looking for the people that have, you know, 5,000 shirts they're printing a month or more, but this product created so much profit, you know, that people could buy ink, a, a white ink for $27 and that's shipped in, you know, if you buy 50 of them, $27 each and you can turn around and sell it for $75. That's $50 a profit and that hasn't happened in the industry for a long time and so I got so excited and I said, there's not too many big printers out there, screen printers that'll stop what they're doing, but there's a hell of a lot of cricket mamas and cricket papas that we can put this product to. And then everybody's buying ink that I got for $27 for $75. Right. Um, right. So none of us want to go about harming our own customer. That's illogical. I mean, I know a couple of companies that may, you know, or wouldn't care, um, but I, I just hope that, and I've already got companies that have called me up, um, Uninet for one, and they said, hey, Ernest, so we saw your video and we made drastic changes to our website because of you. And dude, that's overwhelming. That's all I wanted people to do. And and then and then recognize, you know, that the average person that's screwing around with an L eighteen hundred printer or so is better off buying transfers. Um and so and, stop oh, let me let me let me let me stop you right there because I wanna I wanna interject me and G gonna go to also ask some questions, different things like that. Um when you say they're better off buying transfers, right? I think that's the first pivot. Whereas people's like People are now saying don't invest in this so that they can get you to buy transfers, right? And I think in your case, you're not saying, hey, come buy transfers from me. You're just saying it's safer to buy transfers oh, yeah, if you're yeah, printing dude, out of your house. Because you're printing out of your house, man. So, you, you, you know, I've sat and I, I have an interview. Maybe you can have him on your show. His, his uh name is Scott Dyer. He's an HVAC specialist and uh, he reduces chemicals, you know, the effects of chemicals in, in room. Oh yeah, we um, definitely got to have that on. We're going to lead the charge in making sure this stuff gets he's, addressed. Yeah, he's got a company called ABC Plumbing and um, another one for HVAC and uh, I forget the name of it. Gosh. It's all good. Keep I'm, not, going. I'm not name dropping, right, I, I, or anything like that. But this guy was right there beside my shop and would always come in and say, damn, dude, there's powder everywhere. You ever thought of uh, reinvesting into, you know, a filtration system that will clean your air <laughs> out? And um, the shops that I were in, I was not over that. To, I couldn't do that because, you know, that would be the overall owner of the place. And um, because of my political mm -hmm. position as well. You know, I, I uh, kind of lost my shop, you know, by being too, you know, political. We, we, we leaving that out. This. We leave. We, we leave yeah, that out. Man. It, however, however, I haven't been able to. Uh, 
you know, really hook up with him. But, you know, definitely he's a guy that that has seen the effect. And he's like, Ernest, you'll never be able to get rid of the toxicity of the powder once it's been heated up and released into a room. It's it's going to be in the fibers of your your clothes, the fibers of your your carpets, you know, the filters. It's a very expensive process. So that right there kind of tells me that the average household user if if you're running an L1800 and you're you're flipping powder and you're doing 10 to 15 shirts a week, are you going to get sick? Most likely not. It, it's it's when you're doing like I'm doing and you're uh, running five to ten printers at one time and you're powdering and and for a long time I was powdering by hand, and the only way that you can powder effectively by hand is if you're able to lift that sheet up in front of your face so that all the powder falls down and um if they're doing that then they're they're certainly not the right person for this and to be quite honest um looking back since i haven't dtf printed since i first uh you know first had the effects of this back in december when i well that's when i got my uh first, first notification yeah and, and i'm like well let me let me just stop i started getting really tired too um and I breathe better now, even though there's nodules there, I breathe better, you know, but I, I'm like thoroughly exhausted and tomorrow I've got to go in for a long appointment with my second ENT and I feel like I'm a guinea pig, you know, um, it, it is what it is, right? So I, for everybody out of their home with children and I think we know now and, and now that, now, now that, listen, I'm in kind of a nightmare of a position because I have 70 printers or so still left and I'm afraid to get rid of them because I know that people will turn them into DTF printers and I really shouldn't care. I should be like all the other companies out there and say, you know what, I, I don't care. They're, they're the fastest way to um, start printing and make a hustle that you can pay your bills on. Um, I mean, dude, I, I paid $7,000 monthly rents printing transfers. So I, I know if if people at home are doing this and they're doing 100 transfers, dude, eventually that shit's going to build up in their nasal passage, their eyes, their, their esophagus. And while the powder itself may not be toxic left alone, right, it's, it's when it's heated when it's put into our body and it takes 10 days for you to filter out um, fiberglass. If you have ever worked in fiberglass, it takes 10 days for your lungs to filter out um, <clears throat> fiberglass material or powder or sawdust. And so the difference is, is it doesn't react to heat like DTF powder does. Um, so it's like clogging uh, your filter, clogging your vents with that stuff. Um, it should not be under any circumstance in a household. Leave the, the transfer printer printing to the companies that can afford it, to the small businesses, to medium businesses that can afford the filtration system and can protect themselves. That's where it should be because you waste too much time printing transfers. I can't believe I'm saying this at times, man. It's like, you know. <laughs> hey, we're going we to we gonna let you go. But we, I mean, we're going to let you keep talking. But one of the things that I think people want to know is, is it safe to press transfers? Right? Like, so we already got the fumes from the printing side. So if as a consumer like myself, I just printed 190. I can still smell some, uh, some fumes and different things like that. So. Is it still safe to print? I mean, like to actually not print, but to press the transfers? Well, let, let or is me, it just let safer? Me, let me answer this, right? I've I've probably printed over ten thousand shirts. I have cancer. I, I mean, you know, um, and I, I I didn't have anything until I started messing with this product and being. Is it safe to? You know, I don't know. Um, According to OSHA and according to just type in as polyurethane 
um, you know, safe in its natural state, it is, but is heating or baking polyurethane safe? It's a chemical. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I don't, the one thing I know, and um, the one thing I can be certain of is there's, I've screen printed a bunch of stuff and, and I've always gone after screen printing emulsion that is not made with pork. Um, as you divert more into these chemicals that we're using, I don't know the long-term effects. I can just point at myself and say, you know, I've screen printed for years, I've eco-solvent printed for years, and there's no way that I had any of these problems. Um, and, and so is pressing transfer safe? It's a hell of a lot safer than using the powder, without a doubt. Um, no doubt. And, and and the second thing is we're not pressing for long periods of time. You're pressing for 10 to 15 seconds. You know, so I'm sure if a person uses a mask, they're they're going to be OK, God willing. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that, man. I, I and think I'm not. I think I mean, I think so. I think people are they, they just want to know. And I think we're so early on to this. If somebody doesn't well, get behind the, the thing, research, right? I've you never, don't know. I've never I've never pressed screen print transfers um i've never pressed uh hybrid screen print transfers which are cmyk laser printed backed with white plastisol and I, i've never gotten headaches from that stuff but if i have pressed a hundred transfers and have come out with a ripping headache that goes from the front of my brain to the back and so it's a chemical you're it's it's i've dtg'd hundreds of shirts and i've never got a headache but you know a, a lot of people will tell you um a lot of people I, I had a lady that i sold a printer to in seattle washington and she said one of her employees threw up from pressing transfers and i laughed you know and i'm like bullshit she was probably drunk um <laughs> the same stuff that they're saying to you right like it's the same thing yeah you know so yeah I, I mean it, the thing is the thing is i'm being as real as i can be do, do i think it is it is you know um harmful i i don't know i've pressed hundreds of white toner shirts and i've never gotten sick or a headache do you think you know, that this is do you think that this is going to give like white toner its rebirth or like what do you think what do you think will happen um well, first of all, white toner never really lost this war. They that printer is for printing, you know, immediate one-offs. I agree. And you know, five shirts that you got to get out, and and it and right. they do they do with today's technology last a lot better than when I had um, Magic Touch, you know, and and that was kind of probably one of the worst papers that I had ever used. Um, and I don't mean that they've they've changed it now. Listen, that that white toner will always be there because if you're a person like me, you really didn't use your white toner printer to print T-shirts. Um, you printed a, a bunch of stickers and a bunch of things that that printer was made to print menus because you can print with your white. Um, so printing T-shirts, that... yeah, yeah, it should in theory rebound. Um, because the, uh, the it's just too fast of a profit for for DTF to make the changes that need to be made. So white toner is going to be there a long time. It's a great alternative. I hope that DTG has a big rush because a rush of people that come back and say, you know what, I'll put up with the headaches because I'm not powdering. Dude, yeah. listen, there uh, there are times I can't even breathe. You know. I, it, I mean, well, let's let's even look at it like this dude. for the people for the people who are using their DTG machines for yeah. DTF. So it's like there's still a little there's a little bit of a mixture in there. Of people that are, I think, obviously they're doing it a lot less, maybe more like neck label stuff or certain things like that. But those right, are right. those are also the people again powdering by hand. Uh, and one of the things that we talked about was kind of like regardless, like if you run your machine in the room. And then you cut it off, you take your respirator off, but you're in the room. That stuff yeah. is in the room. It's still, it's still in there. Right. Yeah. yeah why, it's so, so I don't know the gentleman to your left, Stan. Who That's are my you? guy, Greg. That's my co-host. I'm, I'm, I'm in Delaware. 
I met you at yeah, that. Oh, yeah, he right. came. Yeah, he, he was here when you came through that night. Right. That day. Yeah, I remember you. Yeah, I remember you. God bless. <laughs> I never, I never would have would have thought I'd be here. Right. And so there's a lot of people that are saying, "Hey, Ernest, your type of cancer, you know, is is it, well." First of all, it's not first normal. For, first off, for first off, my could the my cancer. Age. Listen, we know you smoke a lot. So could the would, cancer yeah. be from the weed? I'd be the first person in the history of probably the world, <laughs> right? Um, and the only reason I'm not smoking now is because my wife lost a lighter. Well, I'm <laughs> glad you're not smoking. I'm ready. No, no, no smoking. On a, hey, 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 hey. I got to keep you real yeah. in a little. Maybe I, maybe I just let the door open. We keeping it, keeping it cordial. Right, you right. get you get judged for enough stuff in the world that this hour that you about to be here with us tonight, you can you cannot smoke weed. Yeah, dude, I don't want to deal with all the medicines that that, that I, I, all the medicines are right here in front of me. And if you guys, I just want to turn it around if I can figure out how to do this without. It ain't no uh, weed back there, is it? What? Uh, no, not at all. I mean, I just don't know how to turn the camera around. You could have oh, just man. pulled them up in front. Yeah, so, you know, they don't want me to take all that. I'd rather take this right here. You know, all these meds and stuff, dude, you don't want to deal with that shit. Nobody does. Yeah. You know, so, and so take us through, take us, take us through your diagnosis, right? Like, what were the steps, yeah, yeah. the phases? So, so I was printing at a Snipes event, which if everybody goes to my YouTube channel, Brother Ernest, and um, I was printing at a Snipes Nike event live, mm. and... Um, you know, we two heat presses going and uh, we were DTF printing on the spot. And that's another time that I, I noticed because of how fast we were printing little screenshot or uh, chest shots and stuff, you know, and, and we, we were doing like 250 chest shots, you know, as many we, we would do like 15 on a press stop, take it off 15 and you know, just do it again, warming them, right? So you're kind of warming the transfers up, you're using a dryer. Um, and yeah, I, I got a headache. So that was the very first notice time that I felt this explosion in my neck. And I thought to myself, wow, man, that's really weird. I must have pulled a muscle, like if you pull a muscle in your finger or something or pop a, a vessel. And I looked over at my friend, Willie, who's this realtor, uh, Willie Skinner in Boston and um, he's in the video printing with me and uh, I looked over at him and I'm like man I felt something pop in my neck I have no idea what it is and um, remember though I had been printing for three and a half years DTF with 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 a Vastex dryer for two years yeah. straight uh, yeah, because these, these dryers didn't come out until last year really and so you know as you're as you're still I, I remember like a a fool of an idiot that I was you know people would be like hey Ernest is this safe and I'd be standing in front of the dryer being like yeah man I'm okay I'm totally safe I've done thousands of uh transfers that I'm drying and the the fumes are just going up right in front of you and, and uh boy in hindsight that's idiocy and so I I I, I waited to go to the doctor um and waited just because I, I was like, there's no way something's wrong with me. You know, this, this, this is going to go away, you know, and I had, you know, a nodule here that showed up, you know, and one here. And so that's another thing. It gets into your bloodstream and just passes through um, to multiple places, your lungs, your nasal, um, you know, in your, your, your uh, bones and what have you. And, and, uh, so I finally went and got a, a fine needle aspiration and days went by and they came back and said, finally, hey, Ernest, we need you to come in right now. And I went in and they said, you have an, a, a very aggressive cancer um, and in your blood work, there's nothing that shows a, a, a connection to this by hereditary passing of a disorder. Nothing makes sense by my age. And they go through a query that you have, like, what do you do for work? You know, what kind of things are you around? And I went through and um, when we got to the powder, you know, that I brought in, this is about a week later, the doc's like, wow, that's pretty fine powder, Ernest. And I'm like, yeah, I've carried it on airplanes, everything, you know. Uh, I carried a five pound bag of powder into Buffalo, you know, uh, Buffalo Airport and got on the plane and they investigated to make sure it wasn't uh, 
you know, explosive powder. And um, I, I'm like, I've had it around me all the time, went through all the positions. And she's like, well, I'm going to refer you over to a, uh, to a specialist, I think, that can help you. And this specialist that I went to has helped people with mesothelioma, uh, what is it called, fiberglass poisoning, because there's really such a thing. You can get poisoned by fiberglass um, getting into your system and, and just killing you. And um, so I had a checkup about a year before the Snipes event. You know, I'm okay, nothing's wrong. So there's no a full CAT scan because of my age, um, which I am 15 years younger um, than the type of cancer that attacks somebody usually at the age of 65. Um, so I'm 15 years younger to rule. I couldn't be ruled in through through age. There's no history of this. And um, the docs like, Ernest, this is spreading a lot like um, asbestos and a lot like um, mesothelioma. It's super aggressive. And um, so my last appointment that I went to that I, I just broke down, and I'm like, I got to stop, is I'm sitting in front of a panel of seven doctors, you know, a doctor of radiology, you know, my ENT, another ENT, um, the surgical doctors, and, and they're like, Ernest, you know, this is so serious that you, you, you've got to get in for an immediate surgery. And the reason I can't be in is because my main surgeon is like seriously booked, but I'm on a standby. If somebody dies or something, then I go in for a surgery and they've got to do, uh, you know, removal of these tumors. And they're growing so fast. And that's what hit people. So um, a lot like, and I'm just repeating, you know, a lot like uh, asbestos is somebody can have it. And then all of a sudden, bam, a tumor shows up. Yeah. And um, it's got a starting or a linking point. And again, I won't know if, if, if this is going to cause or, or be the causation of it. Because by the time they get all the results back, God willing, I'll be uh, cruising along, you know. Um, now, is it genetic? It is absolutely not. Um, we know that for a fact. So uh, they can't go through and, and doctors can't predict the future, but there are certain cancers that are definitely environmental um, that just make sense. And I think that we'll see more people come forward with this. And, and um, cancer strikes you in different places. It's just where it's found the first and the easiest is what they diagnose you with. Right. Um, so I, I, other than that, other than that, the industry about a year ago started making changes and, and I, I got to, I got to think about how I want to say this. So, so I, you know, I'm going to call people out and just say it is what it is. You know, you got OmniPrint's website and they're on there with a certification that this stuff is safe for children and um and safe to be around children but then if you go to look at the at the ingredients on their product they're like this product can cause irritation this product so can hold cause on, hold on. so, so, so bef before before you go not even that so the what is it is it the oki i think it's the oki tech certification so i think what the oki tech certification uh is talking about is not the actual manufacturing it's the finished product being safe so Right. Post when right, you're done right. when you're so, done pressing it. Boom. I I think that's a great point. You know, it, it's 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 not the base product. It, it's hot and and we're not going to know because we've never been at the period that people have printed, you know, a hundred shirts. How many people do you know that have done one hundred shirt runs? I mean, I I know hundreds of people that have done a hundred shirt runs right from their apartment. Um. It's the heating it. It's the breathing it. I just, know, nobody would allow I just did 200 the other, uh, the other day. But I think I think a little bit. And again, I, not to even, it's not I don't think there's like one company. I went to the street the other day on my live and I'm like, they all do about it or whatever the case is. Again, just trying to push the issue. But in all honesty, um, I think the clarification is that that Oki take Oki tech kids safe piece of it is for the final product. Now, you backtrack that there's multiple layers. So there's the actual creation of the product, of the, like the printing right. of the transfer. Then there's the pressing, which is if you buy your transfers or you print your transfers, then you still press. So you got those pieces, which those are the ones that we are not sure um, 
what it is. And I'm only speaking because I know about these certifications um, because we went through those certifications and had to go through that stuff. I think what we're going to be more on the side of looking into is the OSHA side of the environmental right. and all of that well, kind of stuff. First of all, there's no way that there's no way on earth that OSHA or any company would say, oh, yeah, powder that stuff by hand and don't wear a mask, don't wear goggles. And beyond wearing a mask, don't wear uh, filtration masks. You know, don't worry about any of that. OSHA's never going to say that, you know, and so there's there's problem number one. Um, and and I, can, I can't work by hypotheticals or anything. If people have breathing problem, if they have asthma, if they have vision problems, you don't need to be powdering by hand. We need to call upon the industry to make the finest dryers and powder shakers that encapsulate the powder. Um, and that's going to be with, uh, what are they called, recirculation systems, um, which it's very hard to do. But that's all I want the industry to do is to grab this and say, hey, look, man, there are some risks that we all could be taking. And nobody in this industry wants to harm another person. Um, nobody wants to cause sickness. Uh, n nobody wants to do that, but everybody wants a buck. I honestly admit that I chase dollars to put this product in people's apartments. Um, and, 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 and I think that most companies are now realizing, man, they can take a, you know, an L1300 or an L1800 that they buy for $600 and they can sell it for 3,500 and um, sell some ink that they buy for for, well, it's only 250 milliliters that you need for that. So they, they buy all the ink colors for $16 and turn around and wrap a $3,500 sale. So DTF feeds a lot of people, man. It feeds families. And, and at the same time, um, we can't stop this train. This train is in motion. <clears throat> Nobody is going to stop DTF um, from growing to what it will become. And uh, the only thing we we can do is just beg these, God bless them, beg these cricket mamas and cricket daddies, get this crap out of your house, just buy the finalized transfer um, and work with something that's safe. If, if one person that, that d doesn't end up like me, that's perfect. That's all I need to do. You don't want to be hit with six panel of doctors telling you that you have a very <laughs> rare and unusual cancer. You just don't. You don't want. And what if it wasn't cancer? What if I got something like asthma related issues or some type of chronic breathing issues? Man, screw that powder. Everybody just buy your transfers from the professionals. Like literally, I, I don't. I don't think it should be in the house, man. I'm the first to admit it. And, and I'm probably the only person that, that was in this industry that would say it, it does not need to be in a household where your children live. You can't contain the powder. You just cannot. Um, we so, got, we, I, 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 Ernest, do you, do you think yeah. right now, do you think everything that's going on, like you said, it's never going to stop them saying far as, you know, making money and stuff is going to continue to grow. But do you think that, you know, saying just like, how these pharmaceutical companies get sued? Do you think it's going to end up in a, end up in court with everything that's going I, I, on? So only if a person bought from one company at a time and never anybody else, right? Because mm. how do you prove it? I don't think it's going to end up to that point because there's no government regulation on yeah. there's no government regulation on this product right. right and i'm a huge conspiracy theorist i always think the government's trying to kill me um you know but i i'm I, I, there are times we need the government you know uh we need the government to really regulate this stuff and and it starts mm -hmm. with the sellers it starts with these companies that that how do you, you you don't know if a person's going to lie to you but there should be a checklist you know are you printing dtf in your home yes no sale right but when you can make thirty five hundred dollars no company's going to do that they're they're not going to so limit it's, where this price it's, but it's, however however how much emulsion how many screens are burned in an apartment would you burn screens in your apartment again so I, I, I look at it like this. Yes and no. Like it's my thing is like 
people well, talked you could about burn a screen safely if you had a white toner printer because they'll they'll create the screen you just need a 13 by 19. but uh, look so people asked about like screen printing transfers and the powder that comes with that and my thought process is hey well uh screen printed transfers are not being used the way that DTF is being used. Like most people aren't right. at home right. printing screen printed mm -hmm. transfers, powder shaking. There may be some people in print shops. There may be some people here and there in garages doing it. But with DTF, like it's kind of like pick the pick the the poison your devil you know, right? Like with DTF, everybody's it's doing everywhere. it everywhere. Every last transfer has to be powdered and every last one has to be cured. Right. So it's kind of right. like it's at a different magnitude. Than I have what never. The other one is. I, I have never sold one of the desktop dryers. You know, um, I'm just deathly afraid of those. But I sold a, quite a few Vastex. I mean, you just look at the amount of fumes going up coming off. Thing. You can't. Yeah. You can't catch all that. So it's it's a and the dryers. You know, those little desktop dryers that that are. Yeah, the little pop-up little pop up yeah, uh, um, ovens. You have people carrying transfers in those, you know, and 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 right in or their he, living room. Or in heat you presses. Have people using, yeah. You have people using uh, ovens. What are they called? The little uh, convection ovens to mm -hmm. cure their transfers. Man, dude, we all got to be we crazy. Got a, we, got, we, we, we got a few questions. I want to rapid fire off because I want to make sure some people get their comments off. Um, somebody asked if Cobra Flex glue DTF a better option. Oh, yeah, dude. I, I really wish. I mean, think about it. There is no powder with that. Yeah. Game over. So the only if thing I, I think if I, I could have afforded that thing at $36,000 and it was a little more stable of a product, because if I recall when I was looking at it, um, <clears throat> when I was looking at it, the, 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 transfer or not the transfer but the shirt would flake off and of course that was at the very very beginning because there was no powder to it um if they could create that printer to work in a um a small little shop or perhaps a 13 inch printer uh the guy would the, the guy would be the most um i think they ethical, just had a time they had a they had a they He'd had a ton of problems as a company. company in DTF. He yeah, but I, they had a bunch <clears throat> of problems with the with the overall just the product with the with the glue yeah. and all of that kind of stuff when it came out. But Man, again, we it, need was, to, it we was, need to we need to push the industry to help him. You know, he, mm. he he I don't remember the guy's name. I forget a lot of things lately. Um No worries. I know, I mean, I don't know his he name. He had a vision. Top. He had a vision, and one time at a conference, he told me, "Ernest, I'll, I'll not go near the powder. I don't need the powder." Yeah. And, and I'm like, "Dude, you're crazy because without that powder, it's not going to bond to the shirt, um, or it'll bond less." And remember, I just come back from white toner, or came came out of white toner, um, which I use white toner all through my DTG days, you know. And I, I used to take those P six hundreds and P eight hundreds and turn. Them I remember into back. Pen. I remember back in the in the shop days. <laughs> like, I, re I remember yeah. you had a bunch of me on the phone. Man, so, so yeah. For y'all who so don't easy. know, for y'all who don't know, me and brother Ernest be we we just be talking, be hanging out on a regular basis. This ain't just because of this topic. Uh, again, this is not just covering a topic like this. Dude is one of the realest people that I've ever met. Now, I think uh, what people can't get around with you, brother Ernest, is your political views or. Your, t your multiple wise and all like well, I, but people but listen, have to man, separate think, that stuff i think everybody i think everybody forgets one thing right i am a preacher and that's it i print because nobody would print my anti-abortion signs all right, all right. we're not going too deep yeah, nobody, that, would that print the things that, nobody <laughs> would print the things that i wanted to print and so i just started printing to print the things that nobody would tell me no about nobody would ever tell i feel me no. you I feel so, you about that, so they, but they I don't know. Get that. They I don't know. That. It, whether, I said I don't I, know I, that whether, um, whether my I'm young self. Or, whether I'm political or not, it's not the case here, man. The, the case is, and I, I'm just asking the industry to take a step forward and protect the end user. The end user is the guy that's saying, 
wow, man, I can print 150 um, shirts and feed my family. I agree. You know, and and, and so so what if, you know, multimillionaires pulled into the powderless DTF capabilities and said, you know what, we're going to go that way. And, and it costs a lot of money, by the way. People's transfers need to increase in price because um, you're killing yourself. It, you, you're killing yourself in in literal terms. Yeah, you're you're everybody's in a rat race to the rat hole. You know to to get you, you know everybody they don't understand how toxic this stuff is. And I got I'm another question. For, I'm not coming coming forward to just say you know I quit, dude. I want to print the rest of my life. I want to live a long life. And I didn't see this coming a mile out of the way. I got a warehouse that, thank God, thank God. And and if you guys ever need to move something in Boston, Massachusetts, cubic.me, let them move and store your products because the man has just completely saved me. Because right now, dude, I, I, I don't have long. How do you afford big storage bills? Glory to God, man. I'm so terrified of this. Um, yeah, so, I, so some I'm, in, pe- I, I'm in I'm in freak out mode. Imagine if I never would have touched that powder. Imagine if I would have listened to the guy like Michael uh, uh, Kaminsky over at Sublimation 101. He said, dude, I am not touching that crap in that amount. He almost bought, you know, quite a few printers and his wife's like, dude, I'm not touching that stuff until it's certified. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Right. And that's what we have to ask the industry to be ethical in that point that says, I'm not touching it. No matter how much profit there is, I don't want it. And 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 it's got to go to the professional's hands. Dude, there are people in their houses, and I watch them on TikTok, that have uh, two, you know, two head printers in their living room and children are running around in there. Yeah. And I see them walk in front of the camera. And when they walk in front of the camera, you see little sparkles because there's dust and the light is is picking up the dust, dude. It is in the end point, the seller just says, I don't care what's done. People will use their own common sense. No, they what, won't. Do, what do you say to the people who saying you have a motive by doing this? What do I gain? Dude, I'm I'm absolutely bankrupt by this. What the hell is my motive? I want to be comp- I'm so fucking broke, man. Glory to God, dude. I'm I I live in I live in a survival mode of God will provide my manna every day. And and what do I benefit? What do I benefit by by asking these big companies protect us? protect those who don't know at least mention the dtf transfer should be printed by the um people that have passed certification there's companies out there that 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 if they they know what the hell they're doing and it shouldn't be done in a home man buy your transfers from companies that are transfer printers. I'm not talking working a home-based business. Dude, there are companies that have spent thousands of dollars putting up huge filtration systems and they make their company or employees walk around with masks and goggles on. You know, go to those people. I'm going to tell you I, I this. I've been You're in, in America, I've been dude. I, I, I I've been in a ton of transfer this. printer I, warehouses and I ain't seen no respirators, no mass no i bet you have because they don't know yet but once they know that their their employee can sue them if i worked at a company that was making these transfers i could absolutely sue the shit out of the company for direct uh it, it no dude it's it, it, insurance insurance wouldn't allow it there's no way that osha doesn't know or, or knows this product exists. There would be, and maybe there would, maybe there wouldn't be. Has there, has the t-shirt industry ever been held to a standard? I think so, man. I think so with these emulsions and and products that are all over the bottle. Do not use in homes. No, no. You what know? I know is seeing some seeing some of this stuff. I I can say that um, as a company gets to a certain size, and they get to a certain amount of employees. Then they start wearing like you have to hit a certain threshold before like you only really got state regulations in shops. 
But once you start getting a bunch of employees and the regulations and stuff. That's what they think. Yeah, yeah. So especially if they're old screen printers, they're like, oh, I've held this powder for years. Um, I only know one man today that still does screen print transfers by by hand, and they're incredible. Um, No, the the pre-treatment is not, unless you drink it. Um, (laughs) So the question was, is pre-treatment DTG time? I only know... I only know one person um, that manufactures his own pre-treatment and the authority to ask on that is going to be Anthony Greek, uh, Creek, I'm sorry. And I, I don't, I definitely don't think it's toxic. As a matter of fact, it can be used in small offices and not harmful. You're not curing any, um, you're really not curing anything. The problem is, is that the powder in this case just comes into our face and eyeballs and, and ears and in cut, it gets bloodstream. You know, it's in your mouth. Your, your dude, your, it's everywhere. If you've got a company and, and your employees are printing and they're dipping their transfers and then putting them in a uh, converter <laughs> like a Vastex, you know, please mask that person up. Please wash their hands. You know, don't have a beard, man, dude. That shit gets all over your beard. I'm telling you. Um, so does um, it gets all wh- where where is all the powder coming from? So most likely the uh, chemical factories in China. There may be a few companies um, that still make the screen print direct to screen print um, hybrid method in uh, Europe. Mm. But but at last, I don't know if Brian is around anymore. And you can go watch some old videos of, of direct to screen printing on YouTube, and you'll see Brian. D- that's DST. If you want to look it up, it's called DST yeah, yeah. print method. Dude, um, the transfers feel amazing, but you, yeah. you just you were doing that rasterize. You were doing that for a while back when you had that shop. That what was that shop you had to drive a couple hours to and, and, and stay there. Yeah, dude, I, I you know, um, uh, in in Buffalo, you know, yeah, my buddy Connor, he was he was a pioneer with me of that stuff, dude. And I used to powder. We 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 made like I don't know, maybe a six foot by five foot room that we just would go powder ourselves in, and we wrapped it in plastic. Oh my god, dude, how stupid could I have been? You know, to to just create a tent environment. I know people that do the powdering and, and curing in a dry tent, a cannabis dry tent. They're they're just trying to get perfection so bad that they uh um they're wrapping themselves in tents. Stan, it's brutal. The alarm has to be sounded. It's we're probably not going to make a difference. So, um, but uh, in the I people think... that are thinking about it, right? Try DTG again, man. Give it a fair shot. Try white toners again. Give it a fair shot, and for God's sake, in your own sake, by transfer. What I said. What I said the other printers. day, Jake. I said this might be like I got a white toner over here, and I think, and we talked about this the other day, brother. You were like, man, they need to. They need. We need to push white toner companies to improve the durability on the white right. toner transfer. Right. Uh-huh. And um, I think white toners are great for everything at like not uh, obviously the quick one-offs not for like brand stuff for longevity but i think it's a great printer anything outside of the industry like uh interior decorators or par- event planners event party planners mm-hmm. just imagine a something, lot of different right? stuff. I, I, I don't have um a white toner anymore um and, and to my dismay it is what it is right but imagine if I would have never hustled for a DTF printer, as fabulous as it is to do it. Um, and I, I would have outsourced. I would still have my printer and I'd be healthy. So, uh, but I, I, you know, I, I can't say no, but nobody in my family has any kind of cancer like this. So I, I this is environmental. And, and uh, if white toner had a way that they could use, you know, so I think with, with the Cobra Flex are using like a pre-treat clear liquid. And so to make white toner better, it would have to come out with like a clear gloss adhesive. It can do it. The, the potentials there, it's, it's, will they spend the money to make it a superior product? I don't know, man. There, there's few things that can beat inkjet printing. That's the truth, dude. Inkjet printing is phenomenal. 
And um, direct to garment printing can reach rasterization points that DTF can't. Mm -hmm. And the softness of feel. I, I, just, just, you, I just feel like DTF is the thing because of its ease of in home use. Right. right. Yes, that's and I the think, whole point. Right. I said that earlier. It's so yeah, the unlimited moment. colors, being able to print whatever you see, the AI now, all of this stuff is led here. But I think uh it's a very, very uh you know, I think overall, man, people just need to be aware. Right. And at the right. end of the day, we all gonna make yeah, our, find, find, our own there's choices. DTF, there's there is a professional DTF printer in your city in America. If not, they're there. Um they're somewhere near you and order the transfers from the professionals. And I, it's so crazy that I say this because I think, man, you could just get a printer and do it yourself, you know? Um, no, yeah, I, I guess it, dude, I, I, I am having like a print life crisis right now. You know, I, I just cannot believe this. I, I wanted to, uh, I just wanted to print, man. And I, I never knew that I would get sick from exposure. Um, but most people don't print the the transfers that I printed. I printed a lot of transfers. And because I had a lot of printers, I would just line them up against the walls and start printing. And you got to powder that stuff somewhere. Yeah. Um, white so toner you, could you be could incredible back, if, if, they you... could, if, if they could match that DTF no powder option. If you could go back to 2020 into 2019, 2020, uh, would you would you get it back? Would you still chase chase the dollar down this DTF path? Well, I love printing, man. I you know, uh, I I I smoke pot around Eco Solvent Ink, you know, and and when I'm filling up my uh, Eco Solvent printers or something like that, and I always thought to myself, you know, this I've never gotten sick, you know, and and I don't know anybody else that's gotten sick from Eco Solvent. It re emits a gas, but you don't turn that damn printer on in your home. Yeah, I think you know. I, and so, so what I what I've still print. Yeah, of course, because everybody loves to print. So I, I what I've gotten crazy over this. I don't know, man. For some reason, for some reason, I I went down that road, and um, because it worked in the home, and yeah. I, I'm not the smart. I'm not the smartest guy. Look, I think NASA's telling lies all the freaking time. I'm not smart. I, I agree, right? Just, you um, just can't leave this alone. You just got to go down no, these paths. I'm serious every... because people people are slamming on me in the DTF groups, and sometimes I can't because I got a tube hooked up to me or something like that, you know, and uh, I look at it this way, man. If 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 they think I, I'm stupid, then then I, I, I just... Dude, I, I don't know. I can't let it. I can't. No, I can't let it go because Stan, I, I I don't think I'm stupid. I think I'm very smart by telling people don't use these things in your home unless you've got the ability to protect your body and your children. If you don't have it, if you don't have have Scott Dyer on your uh, on your call, who's an HVAC Send it up. specialist who 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 is a man that is trained at at removing chemicals. So, you know, I think people need to know what they, if they were like, okay, brother, I'm, I'm giving you two scenarios, but before we do, I, a lot of people are now questioning every other print method. Um, right. Like what about sublimation? Right. And yeah, is sublimation, sublimation, sublimation is not going to harm you. Right. right? It, 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 and so I'm not harmed by the DTF ink. I don't think I'm not harmed by anything other than the intake of powder. Why do, if people don't think it's, dude, I, I've had so much powder in my beard at times and up in my nostril hairs, and it never freaking thought to me I'd get sick from it. It never thought to me that it would clog my lungs and and and, and create abilities where you can't breathe. And if you, anybody's printed transfers, they know that stuff gets in your tongue, your mouth, you know, um, Every other method doesn't use a powder. And in no time in the history of printing has the average household user ever printed off 50 prints every day. It has never been that way in the history of printing that somebody has used their printer so much as people who don't know how to print. All of a sudden they get a printer and um, they're walking gurus in a week. 
<laughs> you know, that, this industry is full of great content creators. I, unfortunately, I'm not one of them. Well, dude, glory to God, <laughs> those those who tell the truth aren't going to be the most popular, right? I, I'm ready for it, dude. If all I'm asking is that pe- DTF is a beautiful product. There is no freaking doubt. It'll feed everybody. I don't know what cancer it caused. In my case, I have a res- respiration cancer issue going on right now. Do your lungs comes in, in your in different esophagus forms. in your nose? It, yeah, yeah. That's that's my issue. And yeah. unfortunately, in me, it created very fast-growing tumors that you know I'm going to have to get removed. Um, now, how did your family take this? Dude, they're devastated. Dude, devastated, man. My my devastated. You you don't really feel the devastation until you have a panel of doctors look at you and say you have a very rare fastener growing cancer. It's going to kill you, Ernest. If you don't remove this one, you will not be in comfort, right? But you're still going to deal with this. And, and how so, do you think your family would your family would take it? Ernest, you left me with all these goddamn printers. You know, oh dude, I didn't mean to cuss, but that's what's going that's through. Your your mind. That that ain't that ain't nothing. You ain't go too far off the rock. Dude, oh dude, I don't want to ever see these printers again. You know, my wife's father worked at Crayola and he died of cancer, directly mm. related to the products he was printing. And uh, he's he's on the top of of the company website, so it's like a flashback in her mind. Do they are they happy about this? No, dude, no, not at all. Nobody would. My children aren't, and he, you know, if other people out there, dude, I, I've had just people straight up be like, "Yo, Ernest, this DTF shit ain't for me," and uh, so then I got to you know go through a refund process and stuff like that, and. Uh, it's a very brutal time right now. And and so that's how you know truth is is spreading is when your own people are just like, dude, I want my life. Yeah. Half the people that are printing these transfers could make more money doing something else in the time that they're screwing around with a little desktop printer. You know, um, a little L eighteen hundred. I don't even know so, what they're so, called. So so let's let's take this. We we flat out say you should not use this. Like you, you get in the desktop model, you're printing your home. It's it's an automatic no go. Is there anything people can do to be safe? Like if I okay, I'm still hold on hold on hold on brother. I'm still going to do it. I'm going to invest this thirteen grand. I'm gonna get a powder shaker. I'm gonna get a machine. I got thirteen to fifteen grand. I'm still going to do it out of my house. The money's too good. What should that person do? Invest in an HVAC system invest in a system that can um, mitigate the toxins. Well, they're not toxins, but mitigate the powder out of the air. And um, just demand that these damn companies out there, they're not going to do it either. Screen a customer. You know, just every, if you get a DTF printer, wear a mask, wear goggles. You know, the manufacturers now say that you have to wear a full body suit. Because it's like uh. working around fiberglass. Mm. Uh. So, you, you know, how how good is the money? If that alone money is going to gonna keep me like that alone. Yeah. Will, like, bro, you think about that coming to the you come in, in quarantine every day. I walked around the whole damn pandemic. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, man. Uh, you know, dude, I, I don't so so I don't know a way around this except the manufacturers start to alert people, wear respiration masks, you know, realize that there is some danger, you know, being exposed to this product, right? It's it's already on companies' websites. We're doing amazing things. If you can get one to two companies that that just say, listen, man, take extra precaution don't use this product in your home go to the professionals maybe they start linking transfer sellers on their on their website Ooh, can't site. afford a printer oh you know what that's not, a, that's a, not gonna that's do a, that. dude, that's there's a, so much but that is so a much very profit dude but that they're is a very good um that is a very good idea and it's kind of like a a list of printers who meet the specs of proper printing because I, I think you said something the other day it's like I'm not gonna buy a transfer from you because I don't want you to kill yourself 
Like I don't it's an want extreme to... statement. It's an extreme. Yeah, yeah, no, statement. no question. Could it, be, could it be done? Hell yeah, it, it's going to happen. Maybe people have died from it and they have not realized it. Are you? Do you think you're the only person? No, dude. Come on, man. Think about it just for a minute, dude. This is the only product in our history that we've pressed transfers and you get headaches. I disagree you, you with know, you. I'm not, you I'm not disagreeing headaches, with man. you. I'm telling you, dude, I can, I, I, I can breathe better in the limited amount that I can breathe. It, it just, um, you, you know, uh, you're, you're, you don't have that powder all over you, dude. And, and, and there, it, it's definitely an issue that the professionals should do. It's not a home-based ish, a home-based system. It's not a white toner. It's not a direct to garment printer, right? If it, there's, it's, it's a if there's anybody in the chat right now who had a question that I didn't ask, we're going to wrap this up here in the next few minutes, but drop it in here. I did try to scroll back through, uh, and, and get to some of you guys, but if there's anything else you guys want to know, um, jump back in here uh, and, and drop it. G, yeah, do you I, have I, anything? Yeah, I, I just want to say, should we take that same precaution? You know what I'm saying? Um, should we wear a mask? Should we, you know what I'm saying, as far as the suits and everything? Um, when we press it, when we press our transfers also, should we take so the same I, precaution? I, 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 so that's what my friend Scott and I were talking about, man. And so, Stan, you've got the ability to get companies on the phone that – that work with chemicals and um, they, they could answer that better, but certainly wear a respirator mask, cover your okay. eye. I, I, you know, I, I don't, I, I, you are supposed to cover your eyes and wear a respiration mask. Nobody in these companies are now saying don't cover your eyes when you're pressing. You it's know, cra they're, it's they're crazy. Now... It's crazy that you gotta be, a, that you, you got to take all this precaution and and everything that's happening right now, just like you, man, and you doing what you love, your passion, and you get sick off of it. You know, it's like, I know that, people it's are like gonna, people are going to, you know, people are going to be like, Ernest, man, you're so full of shit because you're just connecting the two. How can and, you safely um, now, dispose of unused powder? Don't light it on fire. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so don't they they got like uh chemical places you could probably search for like a chemical place they gonna have a place oh my every, god dude every so, city. so you know you bring you bring that up and i've just thrown powder um so so this is the thing how do you safely dispose of powder i just keep throwing it right back into the to the dryer i don't think i've ever had powder left over. I think I think it, now that I think now they're saying okay with this information they don't want to do yeah. it anymore. They just want to get rid of it. But what's like they don't want to affect the environment when they get rid of it. If they have the money to do it, if you take the precaution like you do with your screen printing again, do you screen print in your living room? People do. Yeah, yeah. they do. They shouldn't though. I mean, you know, um, there's chemicals when you screen my, print. You know, so you so look, my thing my thing on this brother is like. Out of all the things, this only been around three years. And out of everything yeah. else, the effects were not as drastic as what we see now. I mean, people noticeably can understand that their machine went down, their headache stopped. Or they get a headache when they're printing. Or they get these headaches, uh, they can yeah, smell man, the Yeah, I've had people call me. I That's a great point, man. I've had friends call me that said, man, since my printer's been down for two weeks, I haven't had a headache or I haven't been coughing Right. And um, I'm like, that. that's great. Yeah, that's, you know, it's crazy. Foolish, after I got, after I got done with 200 as I prints. I was, man, I, I just, I, I would set these things up in apartments because I, I literally thought, gosh, dude, I cannot believe it. After I got done um, the 200 prints I did the other day, I felt sick. Like I was sneezing, I was coughing a little bit, and I, you know, I'm uh, like, man, BTS Dallas, friend. Dallas, I'm like, Dallas is with me, so she got me sick, she got, you know what I mean, like, you don't, like, you just attribute it to anything else, and now I'm like, I got a, what, I got 260 to do coming up, and I'm like, if I get sick this time, I know something up, you know what I'm saying, like, just, just kind of like, even, that's, well, and that's so from just know, a pressure you know standpoint. That... I, I don't know. And only my friend Mike would know who Michael, who would, who would, uh, and Brian, Brian would know, um, who, who works with 
the DTS direct to screen printing and the effects of a lot of powder, but even there they have all their powder trapped. It's not open. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you know, so I, I so, don't, I, you know, I think I, 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 I don't know, dude. I, I, I just think that it, it needs to have extreme precaution in a home. I mean, certainly you got these people, dude, using this powder in, in convection ovens. So I got, um, I, gotta I think the I industry relax, did this. Dude. I think the industry did this thing, right? Because it was, it was a talk early on in the process about the powder not being safe. They came up with these twelve by twelve purifiers with the little tube that goes above the printer, and then they then that pretty much wiped the conversation out. Like now, you know, hey, you're good, right? And so, well, no, it do, it doesn't wipe the conversation out because those little purifiers are not removing one hundred percent. Of what I agree. Purifying. This is this is what I was telling you, Scott Dyer, um, who's a specialist in this, w- would be the one to say, "Man, those are." He's looked at them all with me, you know, and he's like, "There's really no way none of those are are removing it all out of out of the air. Um, it's removing what can immediately, um, you know, get us sick, cause issues, but it's always airborne." Um, I don't think you can get rid of all that noxious gas quick if you're doing 50 or 100 transfers. Dude, it's just building up right. in the area, you know, within reason. And, and gosh, these DTF companies are going to hate me. They already hate me anyways, but um, they're going to be like, he's just trying to play down DTF. Uh, you know, no, I'm not. I'm wanting DTF to make a better product, you know, to, to company to or to, to invest in like Cobra Flex, who says we just want to approach a powderless base, you know, uh, um, and if we if we can do that, you do. It's much safer at that point. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. I just wish there was more money to put into it. So that that's it's either it's either that DT um, G or White Toner, and and White Toner, you know, they have a clear product, so they're they're like this close to figuring to figuring it out. Is white toner safe? Someone says something about the B sheet. Well, let me just be real honest with you, right? You ever white tonered 50 shirts? It'll take forever. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem with DTF, man, is that you can print so fast. <laughs> uh, by then, the, by then, the toxins would be mitigated just just by length of time brother all right um so so guys listen i think this is this is sparked like almost a conversation around is the entire industry safe right right and i think again what i'll say is everything else has been around for over 10 years every method now there are things that you know when it comes to screen printing you want to make sure that you're doing it a certain way when it comes to emotions and reclaim and um, webs or, or mist spray and all of that kind of stuff, but the effects of this this print method out of everything that we have has only been around for three years. Three years. And uh-huh. <clears throat> take take brother Ernest's cancer away from this. I've know many a times that people talked about the headaches and where does that lead and what is going on down the line and what is that causing. I think this is just the first extreme case where somebody has spoken out and said something. And me knowing Brother Ernest and him saying he, this is bankrupted him and the different things that he has to do with. Bankrupted. When we dude. talk oh about it, God. you know, I told him flat out, I said, Brother, unless you're ready to come out and talk about it, I'll, I'll have a conversation anonymously, anonymously um, and just to get the conversation going. I went up to, uh, I can't, her name just slipped my mind from DTFprinting.com and I said, at, at a happy hour at the Impressions Expo, I was like, listen, you know, like, I, DCF causing cancer, like she's like, I know we go like this is stuff that they're also looking at and trying to address. So it, it, when I say, you know, they all knew, it's not like uh, it's putting any one particular person out. That's kind of being the dramatic side to get people's attention, like you know the the, the not clickbait but clickbait title type of stuff, right? Uh, but more so to drive home the awareness um, that. Uh, that that comes with it and i also think that there's going to be a push like we had to push on vinyl no more weeding right 
DTF not safe, come buy my transfer type of stuff. And Brother Ernest doesn't have that motive, right? Like, that's not what's going on here. Um, you know, even me. Yeah, myself, so so I, 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 I honestly, man, I, I, I am not, I have no agenda, okay? I, like, literally have no agenda here other than to tell my story. There's, there's no reason to, uh, th there's no reason for me to do this. It's a destruction to my life. And, and there are people that are paying their bills for their families by selling printers and learning how to maintain them. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, it's just, I think the focus is on the wrong person. So at the, at the end point, I gained, I gained nothing by this. Um, it, it's very foolish to do this in your home. Um, when you stop DTFing because you've made smart decisions and you've bought from real transfer production companies, um, you free your time up, you can do more. And the, the companies are just about out there selling transfers since everybody has run to the bottom of the rat hole. They're selling transfers for the price it, it's, it's almost costing to make them. So why not just buy the transfers? If you're living in an apartment or if you don't want to deal with this, I, but it's fun to print. Um, and, and people are really, it's a print revolution right now. Um, hey, I, don't, listen, I, don't I, used to, I used to tell, I told people, if you ain't got 15 grand to get a printer with a shaker, like a nice setup. Now it might be like, yo, if you ain't got another five to 10 grand, I don't know how much your air purification stuff. If you ain't got another five or 10 well, to invest so in that. Or, you know, at, at least five to ten to invest in something you probably shouldn't be getting into it at all. Yeah. Uh, and I yeah, think the that's majority, be the, the majority of people, the majority of people out there, the, the small home based businesses should not be printing transfers. But if they can, you know, it's it's a print revolution. You're not going to stop them. But, you know, hopefully this will give the uh, the industry standard to go to the companies that have 10 printers that are selling transfers help those guys live a little bit and buy transfers and mitigate the risk of being exposed to the powder you know buy mm -hmm. buy a white toner again and just to print your one off and say hey look i can get a hundred better than these um and 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 or dtg one of the two i i don't, I don't know if anybody's Before worried or they if they got health issues or asthma they shouldn't be using a dtf printer it's it's mm. it's it's foolish if, if it, you have asthma or some type of breathing issue, you know. Is there um, anything you want to say to the people who ripped down your video and put it on their channel? Yeah, dude, I never meant to release this video. Dude, I, I just got told I'm fucking dying. So I ran home and, you know, by then we were like, dude, you're going to have to clean out the shop. You got to go through a bunch of surgeries. I, I, I just asked that um, people put them up on their channel and, and like don't profit off of you know, off of uh, your story, your, health. Of you, your life. Yeah, off of this because there's very few people, and and you know, um, here in just a few days, I'll have my complete medical record finalized and everything, and and um, I, I open my life so that somebody out there can buy the right printer and see where they fit in. I, I again, I don't think the average person that would use an oaky white toner printer um, would be stupid enough to put, maybe they would, to, to put a DTF printer in their home. The whole reason they bought it is because it's safe for the home. You know, it's an alternative to screen printing. And I would just ask that people look at that again, that they, they look at their DTG system again, and um, nobody's gonna do that dtf is just really fast dude let's go for a safe product that can be put in every home and uh th dude then it'll be magical and these companies are making a hell of a lot of money they can afford to do it they can yeah. honestly afford to do it the ink is very inexpensive i think it's dropped down to like 14 dollars per import of color um so they they can afford it there is there is a uh What's on the Mimaki? The Mimaki. It's a very slow printer. Um, is that the TJ1 <laughs> TX150 or something, dude? It is so freaking slow. Um, don't spend the money, man. Here's what you do. Instead of buying that stupid Mimaki, right, order transfers from somebody and use that money to go finance something different in your life. Yeah, um, I was on a fence for like, a while about embroidering DTF. 
And I, I'm, I'm yeah, dude, be, go I'm, go to an alternate route. There's a yeah. there's a DTF printer everywhere now. And you I don't, right. step into I don't the, even mean the to, to, the the Recoma Toyota either. I mean, Recoma I didn't. You know, Toyota. I got I got to really say that. Let me just say this, dude. What do I think of the new Mamaki printer? Well, it's no faster than the Muto six two eight that everybody went crazy over. Mm -hmm. um, but whatever you're using, man, protect yourself from the powder because. Um, it's Listen, man. We don't care what printer you buy if you're gonna buy it. Yeah. We don't care what printer you buy, who you buy it from. We don't care what transfers you buy or where you buy it from. We just want you to be safe, right? And yeah, I that's think it. the unpopular that's conversation around this entire thing at, man, listen, flat out, it's a lot. Brothers made a lot of money in this industry off of these printers. Uh, you got 70-something still still sitting there. I'm terrified, yeah. Stan. Yeah. God, God has, has, in a way, allowed me to to barely live but it's not just that if you've ever sold a printer man it's the people a storm comes in and their blue goes out and you know after the storm passes about two days later the blue will come back again but during those days dude you are satan himself you son of a bitch and, and dot 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 sorry to cuss and you know <laughs> my printer doesn't work so it's it's a dual dual fold problem and and um you know listen before you buy a dtf printer right just for one month move back into the house with your ex-wife or your ex-husband everything goes well you're ready for a dtf printer anywhere right but the fact is people aren't ready for this they are not ready to have that printer in their house, you know, especially God bless the cricket mamas and the cricket papas. Buy your transfers, man. Save your life. Um, and, and what I mean by save your life, you're not going to die. Save your life by doing something else. Save your life of the headaches of running these small printers. Um, man, people are going to hate that because um, the cricket mama and the cricket papas are a revolution among printer sales right now. You know, it's like going fishing. Yeah, and, I think uh, every industry, if, if they were super industrial, they found a way to go to the crafter. If they were a crafter, they found a way to, because the companies have to grow, especially with like all these private companies now being bought and different things like that. Like, just imagine how much this industry could grow if they created a powderless DTF system that, that uh, had amazing durability. Well, that, did, that didn't like break the, the bank. That didn't right. break the bank like you, a Cobra Flex. You could put it in. You could put it. Well, dude, it's the healthiest form of printing. If yeah, I had the it. money, I'd probably go that. I'd save my life. I'd be like, yeah, your, health is, your health is but definitely if, worth if I, the investment. Now if that I would have had a Cobra Flex. Right. Yeah, if I'd have, if I'd have had a Cobra Flex or, or um, a white toner that, that, that was superior, it can get there. I don't know how it'll get there, but it'll get there. If I had an alternate form of printing, I, I'd be living. Um, so I, I, I'm not trying to to blast anybody in printer sales i don't make anything nobody um i don't have a cobra flex i don't have anything like that dude i just got you know my my favorite little printer right there in the back which is my epson label printer and um you know my sublimation printer but there there's nothing else when it comes to t-shirts man I, I am just like uh trying to live right now dude and, and so, I, what's, I so what's next for brother Ernest, man before we get out of here Well, maybe I maybe I can go maybe I can go preach again if God will give me life. Does, maybe he, maybe I got maybe he allowed me to have this cancer because I quit preaching. I don't I don't know. You does know, this does the much. does the six months, um, I guess the five four and a half that you have left on on the original diagnosis does that extend with the surgery? Um, yeah, but you're not going to stop the growth of the cancer because it is it is it is in multiple places so. Um, there's not a good favor um, for me. It's a very aggressive type of cancer. And um, if God, what's next for me? I live by every moment, you know, that's that's kind of how I live. So um, I'm in the control of my doctors and it's vicious, man. They, they, I've already had to go through a will. I'm like, dude, I got nothing to leave. Bunch of freaking printers. A girl just told a guy, you know, a couple days ago, he's like, you can have them all. We don't ever want to look at them again, you know. They've destroyed our lives. Uh, so it's, it's just what's next for me. I don't know, man. I'd like to sublimate and, and, and I'm going to die printing. Um, 
and, and it is what what's next for me dude i thought i was gonna have a bunch of children to come and and uh listen if anybody's out there considering buying this printer just do a, a dtf printer please do your research now you know right I, I gain nothing out of this and i lose nothing out of this matter of fact if you die how would i know Right. But if if it one day you almost said, hey, I almost bought a DTF printer and I just decided to spend time with my husband instead, you know, and, and buy transfers, dude, that's the happiest story in the world. Go to these professional transfer sale or companies and spend the money and, and just buy it. It's not it's not worth putting that crap in your home. And that's going to be I'm going to get slaughtered over that. You know, definitely go the white toner route, go the DTG route and. Um, I, I don't know if if the Cobra Flex sells transfers, um, but, but I, I don't. Do they sell transfers? Can you mail those? There are people. There are people who have the printers. Um, I got yeah. my buddy used to be a, a, as a tech. Used to be a tech at one of theirs, um, but you just have to find a person who sells their. You know who, who has it? Who prints with it? Well, so that um, then then again, right there, you would know. Do you press Cobra Flex transfers and get headaches? I don't know. I would have to ask. Again, I don't think yeah, people I, ever. I don't, anybody, I don't think people so. were even correlating that. I think the machine had problems. I don't know where it's been at recently. Um, oh yeah, right, right. So, but none, nonetheless, man, we'll yeah, we'll yeah, definitely, definitely look into those white toners. Definitely look into any printing method that you want. And if you bring a DTF home, please wear a suit, wear a mask. It's worth it. Keep it away from your children. This it gets everywhere. You spill the powder, dude. It's all over the room. Quarantine off and uh, invest in a hvac system and please don't do like i i did don't cure hundreds of transfers in a small you know apartment don't treat that stuff as it should be with with the suit glasses and goggles and other than that um you can pay your bills with dtf that's for sure um and also you know, hey let me say this brother Ernest. you know what i'm saying because you say you're a minister man man maybe god you know what i'm saying take you to this to save lives also you know what I'm saying? Because you are the. Well, I could have told right God now. a better way to do that. Right. God, let me make hey. a video, and you know, yeah, I don't know. yeah, dude, glory to God, but, I hear but, you, brother. I mean, I, I yeah. appreciate it. But you know yeah. what I'm saying? But you, you, you saving lives right now. You, you, you that advocate right now. You know I believe I am, dude. Thanks, I really that. believe yeah. that that people's lives will be saved, dude. There, there is no freaking way these companies. Uh -huh. They know better than than to sell this in the home. It's just they're they're chasing chasing the money and um and, and, and maybe god to. maybe god wanted you to stop chasing the money also to step back you know what i'm saying to do this see he put you in a field where you can minister at yeah but bro i'm already in a field because how do you live with two women and not have to worry about money dude it's a terrible <laughs> it's a terrible role for a man you, that's, just, that's you said that one up. i like i like have nothing nothing <laughs> well i, 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 I wouldn't talk about <laughs> I have nothing to leave these kids, and I think in my mind I'm leaving you an incredible collection of printers. And, and they're like, "Dad, we don't we don't even it, want to look at those." Printers. And months Dude, ago, it was the, months ago it was, would have been the opposite, right? Like you what? know, I think you coming out and saying this is is definitely a change the perspective because you know I know how we count the dollar signs on how many printers you were selling in a week and where you was going yeah next but you to don't do make anything install. there's there's no money made at made at the print truly dude there's nothing out there I think I, I had them at you know thirty five hundred dollars including yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Tired the flip. dude yeah, I just bro. got tired of it dude I, I mean it, the printers break down that they're gonna do that and people just want to go sour on you freaking trucking companies lose printers all the time and then my guy at priority one quits and i'm like stuck in a rut um there's no profit made in these printers dude so um there's profit made in the small tiny little printers that you get for five hundred dollars which is an l1800 and you sell that at 3500 because you already know it's going to break down yeah um you know, so I, I don't know, dude. And there's no way any company out there wants to sell a printer that's going to break down. No, no company wants the backlash, man. It, it's a, it's a headache that you have to deal with, and and people, um, people can be brutal out there, dude. You know, any, so any any uh any last words, anything yeah, you want to say? If you're gonna D, if you're gonna DTF in your home, wear a suit, wear goggles, you know. 
cover your nose and mouth. That's all I got to say. Where, 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 have protection. Get it out of the home. Dear Cricket Mama and Cricket Papas, please seek alternative routes. Buy transfers, and if you must print, buy a printer that you can use in your room. Um, right. You know how many times, Stan, I tried to get you to to buy a printer. Yeah, what I, I was, <laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> like, you like, I drop it off on the way. I don't, I, right, I don't want right. to deal with the issues. You know, I, I don't want to deal with the maintenance and all that, dude. It's worse than that. You, you know, it's. I've it's, gotten it's, many offers, man. I've gotten even outside of you. I get emails still to this day about this, the craft size and all of that kind of stuff. And it wasn't health wasn't my main issue. Right. Um, but it was something that I thought about the room I had, like how I would ventilate it if I had to put it at my house uh, where I wanted to put it at and how I would get it ventilated out of that room and out of it, out the house and stuff like that. Um, and these were conversations that we had. Right. Like these are conversations that we had, but I never really got into it. Um, yeah. Dude, but, so. So. So let me add to that, dude. It, it, you know. In, in a very careful way. Right. Um, I think that white, you, you know, the the white capability of printing on a UniNet printer, um, I, I think they have a perfect market, and and that's for the small little craft person. Um, hell, dude, I'd use one if I had one here just to print a shirt. I got some. I, mean, I got man. something coming, man. I'm gonna just say that I got. I got a, I a new do. product I bet, to the market. I bet you do, man. I got a I new product to the market that might. Might help us out with a regular inkjet printer with some durability. Most definitely, um, I got yeah, something. I, I, don't, in my I head. don't know what the industry. I don't know what the industry holds, man. I, I just know that um, the UniNet companies and the DTG companies they're not, they're not going anywhere. And, and yeah. I, I hope that I hope that you, you know we can we can certainly make a difference in their industry but you know who you should have on on whether or not that that uh dtg pre-treat is harmful is anthony creek go to the source all right you know, well um, set it up I, I don't make any i don't set both set, them. set both of them up man set both uh, of them up. They don't, set both of them up they don't got to be like long podcasts we can do some like quick interviews with them um, just yeah, to kind dude, of get some I, good information out. Man, too. He would he would be one to know the difference because he makes his own DTG pre-treat and he may have some pre-treat or some powder for DTF. And uh, man, what a comparison that would be to work with an expert like that. You know, well, set it up, brother. Uh, we got to let these yeah, people so get out of here. Anyways, tonight. everybody, <laughs> I, I, I thanks for having me. And I, I didn't even plan to do this. So um in, in any case, man, everybody, I have no motive. There is no motive whatsoever than to tell my story. And if cancer is not from, you know, the powder, I, I welcome anybody to view my report and tell me where the hell it came from. You know, all I know is today I can, I smell better. My eyes aren't burning all the time because the powder's not in my eyes, right? And um, I don't taste the powder all the time. You, you, you like literally, there's been times, you know, I, I, I've had powder all over my face and people thought I was doing cocaine or something, you know, and I'm just like, dude, the powder gets everywhere, you know, so. Uh, oh, that's what you said the other I, day. <laughs> I, I, I literally, stand. I have no motive. You're not paying me. Brother's not paying me, right? There's no motive. We're just, we're just guys out there trying to say hey we we hope that the industry can can save lives and get this out of the cricket mom and cricket pops house or dude i don't know maybe maybe they make an incredible product after i'm no longer on earth saying dude we've mastered this um process that we don't even need powder then well, it would be a revolution. brother i'm gonna tell you this man i know you deal with a lot of hate uh and, and a lot of people you, at the end of the day we touching some bottom lines which is never popular um, and so, you know, at least me for myself and the people who follow me, man, we, we, right. as, as bad as things are, man, we want nothing but the best for you. Um, uh, I believe uh, you. you've been here, dude, you've been with my family and, and so have you, because when I went down there, my family was, was, uh, right. yeah, was we there, was at, was there going to install well, a printer. So yeah. I appreciate it, man. And it, I, I wouldn't wish this or, or Trump, even my own enemy. Right. And and being a preacher when when I, I have.
friends and, and people that have gotten sick. At no point did I ever say, oh, that's karma. You deserve this, man. Dude, life is cruel. You know, we're all we're all dying. Instead of DTF branding, go on a date with your wife. You know, I mean, seriously, I'm buy going, some transfers. I'm I, I cannot right believe now. I'm saying that, dude, at times. But it's all not right. worth all the, it's not worth the hassle. I love you guys, man. And um, don't too, stop bro. printing. Don't I'm definitely stop printing. Keep... I definitely keep you guys updated, um, you know, as I talk to brother and what's going on. And for, for those of you uh, who, who want to hear about it, if you DM me or anything like that. But, yeah, man, this sucks. But, uh, you know, maybe it is what it is. Dude, we'll, it's hard we'll have for me something to different. There's, there's still times that I still times that I'm like, man, dude, I could turn <laughs> on a printer. Well, I don't have the energy to do it. I have too many doctor's appointments. I'm like, I can turn on a printer you know, and print 150 transfers because there's a market for it everywhere. And if people went to good screen printers or good businesses in their area and they, hey, we'll buy all of our transfers from you, you know, then then one person could take the risk for many people. And, you, you know, that then it becomes worth it. But uh, all right, man, I have nothing else to say, but, you know, thanks. Thanks. And um, when when things report more, um, I'll, as soon as they upload the x-rays of my lungs onto my chart, you know, we can go look at the clouds and, um, there, there is no argument, dude. It is in people's systems. Um, cause that's one thing you can't refute, right? They're, they're like, Oh, video, there's video of the powder buildup. You know, there's, there's MRIs of the powder buildup. There's x-rays of the powder buildup in the lungs and the respiratory system. Um, people can stop asking whether or not this was caused by this printing method, right? You're in a small room like I am. It's not, it's not good for you. Um, you know, without a doubt, but anyways, leave it to the pros. They'll figure it out out there. You know, indeed, I, indeed. I don't want to ramble. I don't want to hey, ramble anymore. I, everybody I out there like the video. Um, you know what I mean? If they want to, if they want to connect with you, brother, where they, where can they do that at? I just have my YouTube channel, um, which is Brother Ernest. Find me there. And uh, yeah, man, uh, that's pretty much the only place that I don't go all political or anything <laughs> like that anymore because it's all that, that I have. They cut off my Facebook and uh, cut off, you know, like five of my TikToks. So I I'm done. I'm just, just going to spend time with my family and print things that won't get me sick. No doubt, you know, man. Um, Hey, so we appreciate I'll, uh, you, brother. I'll go live. I'll go live right before I go into the surgery. And um, maybe that'll warn people. Yeah, and, man. We're, and there's, brother, there's we no appreciate point. I don't you. know why any of these haters called my doctor. <laughs> these fucking people. I'm sorry. Dude, these there. trolls. Dude, they're going to troll me until I die. That's what they're going to do, you know? Um, I'm not trying to scam the medical community or anything like that, dude. I just think I'm, I'm literally on to the toxicity of this powder. Um, so that's, that's all I'm after. You know, if I can if save I can a life, a yeah, save a I, life, yeah, make I, a I, difference. Some of us only have that motive. And like that guys, everybody say goodbye to brother Ernest. And this has out. been God episode 10 of the art of hustle podcast. We can't go nowhere without the outro. Man, Greg iPad about to die, man. So I just wanted to say a, a, a couple of things over here, man. Before we actually get out, get out, y'all know it's hard. But that was that was I don't a know very how to get out of here. Hold on. That was <laughs> that was a very very uh, great brother Ernest interview. We ain't go, you know. I, I usually only get him when I'm right here next to him because right. the thing can go. 
so many different That's ways, right. man. Uh-huh. But you know, at the end of the day, man. At the end of the day, uh, this is a serious issue, man. Um, and I really want people to take heed to this. Um, and he's definitely courageous because literally this is a cost this man everything. Um, very fast. You know what I'm saying? He might have lost it just as fast as I lost everything, right? Going up against the beast. And in this case, you know, um, he had a business selling printers. And for him to 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 now be on this side of it, it sucks. And, uh, you know, that's all I can say, man. So we'll catch you guys next week. Uh, come with a little bit of, of, a, of a different upbeat, you know, talk next week, something. If there's anything you guys want to see, make sure you all check us out on Instagram, Art of Hustle uh, Podcast 21. And you can check us out there. Let us know if there's any topics you want to see covered, uh, any interviews. We ready for the interviews, so we're going to start rolling in some interviews here and there, uh, bringing different people on the channel and getting this thing going, man. Any, you, you got a quote for the day, man? You got something to uplift the people in the midst of this, man, before we get out man. of here? Yeah, I'm sitting here. I'm going to be honest, man. I'm sitting here trying to fight this allergy. Man, this is <laughs> killing me, boy. Well, I listen, know I know why I got glasses on. Um. Man, I don't have nothing, but I just want to say this, man, that, man, we got to be cautious, man. Um, you know, don't don't let money, man, kill you. You know what I'm saying? Just be cautious of the industry, man. We all got passion for the T-shirt stuff, man. But, man, live, live life, man, to the fullest, but a healthy life, man. Not a, you know what I'm saying? Don't end your life trying to chase money, man, to, you know, to impress people, man. You know, yeah. DTF is like that, but, you know, just be cautious of what you do. We can't tell you what to do or how to do it, but just be cautious about it, man. And that's all we want to do, man. I'm going to leave y'all with the same quote I started y'all on, man. Mike Epps said it. Hey, man, you can throw your problems all on the ground, and then everybody picks them up, and you might have the last problem left, and you'll be wondering where your problems were. You know what I'm saying? So any right. of us printing or doing anything could be in, in, in brother's shoes the the political views and, and and all the other personal views aside none of that stuff matters man um I, I man it sucks you know because i talk to brother right. ernest at the bare minimum on a weekly basis it could be a couple times a week uh and we talk for hours and go over different things so you know i i appreciate you guys for checking out the episode hope you learned something uh y'all can run it back put your comments in there and uh yeah we're gonna move on we'll catch y'all next week it's been your boy stan Banks from T-shirt side hustle, and again that is superstar Greg Bozeman <laughs> from the art department. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>